JD Aliens, what's going on? Hey, I got to do this one really quick because it's a super simple product. Uh, but first, I want to address the people who are getting all antsy about me doing my uh, full video about the Sony XM. Force, the WH-1000XM4, it's coming. I have had plenty of time to listen to them and give them a very thorough criticism or praise and as well compare them to the uh, Sony XM3s. That is coming. So just get your panties out of a bunch and enjoy the different content on this channel because a brother needed a break from budget headphones and headphones period. You need a break from that. Now, I gotta get something done before we get on with the rest of this. We gotta roll that mother intro let's do it yeah buddy everybody have a seat man have a seat hey welcome to the new guy girl who just decided to join in on all this fun right here hey man i don't get really technical on this channel you know regurgitating specs that you see on boxes or you know like regurgitating everything I saw another YouTube reviewer do. I, I do my own thing here and I'm not really all that interested in specs. I'm interested in real world performance and just how things actually impact my life in the real world off the paper. If you came to hear about specs, you are always in the wrong place. I don't do that. But you're welcome to come back anytime you want. For everybody else who's down with the program, let's get it on. So everybody knows by now that I do not use cases uh, on my Galaxy Note 10, or no, I'm sorry, in the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I did not use a case on my Galaxy Note 10 Plus, and I love it. Man, I hate to get rid of this phone. I got I did the trade-in program. Uh, but for those of y'all who know, who did not choose to use a aftermarket screen protector on the Galaxy Note 10 Plus, you know that the screen protector that came on this phone was beautiful. I actually used it for about, I don't know, maybe 10, 11 months before it just got too raggedy and I had to peel it off and purchase a new one. The new one was good, but it just was not the same as that factory installation with that factory film on it. It was awesome, man. It gave a great feel to the S Pen. It actually added a little bit of resistance versus, you know, just feeling that straight up glass. I loved it. And I know you loved it too for those of you who didn't just rip it off and then put on a glass one. Let me tell you something, man. Those glass screen protectors, they are a ripoff. Even the white stone dome. It is a high priced ripoff. Those things break so easy. You go through three, four, five of them in a year just from little love taps on your phone. And a, a film screen protector is what you really want because the Gorilla, Gra the Gorilla Glass is actually really, really great. Um, as uh, but it is scratch, you know, it, it is scratch prone to like little bitty scratches. So that's why I like to use a screen protector, a film screen protector. And previously I was just using, you know, what I thought would be good, which would be like a self healing one or something like that. I happen to find this one right here. This is from LK. Uh, I guess I'm uh, the links are in the description and my pinned comment. This one's from LK. The reason why I wanted to do a video dedicated to this is because look at this, man. Can you see that? Bubble free installation, crazy bubble free. It is on perfect. It is even on all sides. And it only took me probably about three minutes. Let me show you what comes in this box. This is actually a three pack. Okay. This is the instructions. This is an alignment tool. You actually plug this into your USB-C port right there. And then you take your screen protector that you get out of here. You get three, man. So you're getting a good deal, especially for the price. So you get this right here and then you put it on just like that and line that sucker up. And then you start going through the instructions, right? All you need is fourth grade level reading comprehension and you can get this done in about two or three minutes flat with no sprays, uh, no, no nothing fancy, man. No heat, no hair dryer, no nothing. And I was just amazed and blown away by the by the installation quality, man, absolutely no bubbles. Everything went on super smooth. And this one is actually just like the factory one that came on the Note 10 Plus. Everybody that has a Note 20 knows that you get a screen protector, but it's only for shipping purposes. You have to peel that off because it has tabs on it and stuff. And you're left out here naked in these streets. You do need a screen protector to protect from those little scratches from keys and coins and stuff. So yeah, man, I, I hate those glass ones because they just add weight and they break too dang easy. This right here is what's up. Bubble free, super fast. Like I said, fourth grade reading level comprehension. Um, oh man, this is, I'm so excited because this is, 
this looks like it came from the factory. Like this one did, like the Note 10, it literally looks like it came from the factory like that. Loving the screen protector and I just wanted to share it with you guys. Now I gotta get out of here, but once again, yes, I am going to get to these headphones today. I gotta run some errands, drop off some stuff, uh, give me some charcoal, and then I'm gonna do my workout and then I'm gonna get hot and heavy on this video right here. But for those of you who are, who are interested, I had a cool idea, man. Uh, do, I mean, are y'all interested in seeing the evolution of the Galaxy Notes? I got a two, a four, a seven, yes, a seven, and an eight and a 10 and now a 20 here. I think I wanna do a video on the evolution of the notes and just go down memory lane. So who's interested in seeing that video? Either way, I gotta get out of here and go do my errands and then I can get on this Sony video. But uh, hey man, much love for y'all tuning in. I appreciate every last one of y'all. Y'all keep being good to each other till I get back and I'll see you when I see you. Oh, so you wanted them cats that like to just run up in a place, take what you want and then leave, huh? Man, you better hit that subscribe and notification button. That way you know when I'm over here opening up new stuff. And while you're down there, you might want to consider tapping that uh, join button and becoming a member because membership has its perks. See, that wasn't so bad. All right, man, I appreciate you. And I'll see you at the next one. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?